what, your name is Mr. Downer. Mr. Downer, yes. And may I ask what you were doing in Aberdeen? Well, I was running all the mechanical equipment operating in the whole of Aberdeen areas and south uh, coast down. How long have you been out there, sir? Well, I've been out in my last period two years. I see, but you've been out there a long time altogether, haven't you? Well, I've been in, uh, actually, Iraq and uh, Persia for the last 31 years. Ah, oh, well, now you're just the man I want, because I'd like to know what you think about this uh, evacuation, this sudden evacuation. Well, I think it's rather a pity. Um, one of the reasons is that um, the uh, Persians uh, cannot uh, run their refinery, all their oil uh, distribution, without British technicians at all. You're quite certain about that, are you? Oh, I'm you absolutely going? certain. On a 100% basis, it's just impossible. Mm. Do you anticipate that we should be going back soon? Well, I hope so, yes. for the benefit of uh, uh, UK and the world in general. What are you going to do now, sir? Well, I'm on special leave at the moment. I think it's well earned. And uh, I still have my heart in the oil company and their, um, their uh, claims and doings uh, regarding the oil um, for the general uh, world output. Have you left any friends out there, sir? Persian I've left friends? a lot, yes, quite a lot. Uh, the Persians and Arabs. They are big friends of mine. And how do you like them, uh, knowing them as closely as you do? Well, I think they're quite a nice um, set of people in general. It's a pity that uh, we have to leave them, but um, <laughs> they feel that they can carry on themselves. Well, it's, and I see no reason why they, they shouldn't have a go, but I, I'm certain they can't. Well, thank you very much, sir, and good luck for the future. Thank you very much thank indeed. You, sir. Ready? I was in charge of 500 mechanical operators in Aberdeen, and our latest job was to make a complete dairy farm to supply milk and uh, vegetable produce for the whole of the Aberdeen staff. All I hope is that this next coming season they'll be able to ful fulfil our requirements for the job. Mr. Smith, can you tell me what your job was in Aberdeen? Power station charge engineer. You were one of the key point men, were you? Yes, I was one of the, well, I was the last to leave work. I was on night shift on a Wednesday night. And they, during that night shift, they took over the... Can you tell us something quite briefly about the uh, evacuation? What happened to her? Well, we were told to stop in our bungalows until the cars came for us, and not to go with anybody at all. And uh, we met the uh, <coughs> we met the uh, club. Went to the clubhouse and went to the Persian customs, which was just a formality. And nobody even looked at the cases. Cases get out as quick as you can. Well, uh, what happened when you got on board the Mauritius? Oh, well, we had a very good time by the boys on the Mauritius. And what was it the band played? Well, they played in it. They played the Navy. They played the Colonel Bogey. Colonel Bogey. Yeah, that's right. Do you think you'll be going back, by the way? Well. Uh, I don't want to leave the company, but if I can get somewhere else, I'll be better than I can. Do you want to go back? Well, it's quite a good place. I quite enjoyed myself there. I met plenty of Persian friends. Do you think the Persians will be able to carry on without you? No. I definitely think so. Definitely Thank you so much. Thank you. Key point, man, I believe. Well, I wouldn't say one of them. Just a normal one. How many Persians are working up here, Phil? How do you Um. I should say it's not more At least one of fifty men. See, and how many people do you run? How do you mean? British how many persons? Or how many persons? Or something about 500, I think. Do you regret leaving them? It must have been out there sometime. Well, yes, the main of them, yes. They know they're quite decent chaps. Yes. Well, this chap, Mossadegh, what do you think about him? Nothing. <laughs> 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 Bluntly. <Yeah. laughs> do you think we'll ever go back? I wouldn't know, that's in the lap of the guts. What do you plan to do now? Just wait. Just wait. For a while. Indefinitely. Well, as far as we... Mm. Um, Mr. Hatch, I mean, in your opinion, you could have carried on not being evacuated. Well, no, hardly, because NIOC gave us about three days before left. Okay. We had never worked with us still. What are you going to do now? I shall leave. Do you, think you, do you think you'll be going back? I don't know. I want to go back? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What about Mossadegh? What do you think about him? I haven't met him. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But uh, do you think the, the Persians could have carried on um, uh, at all on him? Well, do, do you think he'll be able to? Carry on with him? Yes. Very much doubt it. Think, yes, you would probably think about him back, don't you? Some of them would have to. Let's hope it's awesome. Good luck I to you. I hope so, anyway. 
Well, but you just drop it, because I can get it. Yeah. Mr. Hazard, I guess you have the one answer to this uh, problem of the oil refinery. Will you tell us what it is? Well, I don't know whether I have the one answer to it, but I have my own answer to it. Let's have it. That uh, we should have taken the refinery by force and, and run our refinery on Iraq oil and Kuwait oil. Well, that sounds a full-blooded idea. How would you have set about it? Well, we'd have had to put the troops in, obviously. Yes. And what have you done about the refinery? We'd have run it. We've got a pipe, pipeline across the river. There's a pipeline down to a place called Flower, which is less than a mile away from the actual refinery. Your experience tells you that that would have worked? Right? Yes, definitely would have worked. And then it's not, for, not a very big job for us to get another pipeline down to Kuwait while we're working on that lot. And what do you think about this evacuation generally? Well, I think it's a debauchery. Absolutely. A debauchery. Abortion. Debauchery. <laughs> uh, what do you think about this uh, person situation with Mos Mossadegh? What's the true story from there? Well, I think the true story of that is uh, that this, his strength is our weakness, and that's just it. I think it's a decision from our government, a full-blooded one, would have stopped all this. And as I say, if we'd have bounced two six-inch shells in the bazaar when our lads were killed last April, it would have stopped it then, in my opinion. And you, you honestly feel that if we take a very firm hand from the start... Yes, in well, fact, I'd go so far as to say, if Churchill was there, it would never have been tried. Thank you, Mr. Hazard. Hello, please, thank you. I'm naturally very pleased to be back again. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> Is all right? I'm naturally very pleased to be back again in UK and to rejoin my wife and family. I should have come home uh, in April last, so I think I've earned uh, my spot of leave. I would like to say that the staff who put up with a very hot summer in Persia under very difficult conditions deserve the utmost praise for sticking it out. And that goes for the Indian and Pakistani employees as well. We have all done our best for the company and for Britain. Mr. Ross, I wonder if you would give us your personal feelings about leaving Abadan. Well, we left with a, a feeling of, of sadness that we were leaving that enormous plant that we've spent so much time in building up, and um, also leaving our Persian staff and labor, whom we've got to know and, and respect. And um, it was a very, very sad occasion for me in particular, as I was uh, in charge of the whole lot of the plant there. Um, we also felt with a feeling, left with a feeling of relief because um, we've had quite a lot of tension for seven months now. We've started in March with uh, strikes and then in May there was the nationalization movement. Since then we've had this uh, temporary board of directors who uh, have interfered in our operations and made life extremely difficult. My staff have reacted marvelously and uh, they, they've sort of seen to it that we've had no incidents whatsoever. I can assure you it's, it's most difficult to always be quite certain that anything you do is not going to annoy or offend some of the local officials in a place like Abadan. Uh, may I ask, can we change the lens? You obviously want to, won't you? That is for all the newsroom companies, Mubiturn, Paramount, Cathay, Gaumont, Universal, the whole works. Uh -huh. what, what I'd like to get is some... What any, any, um, okay. So I wonder if you'd uh, like to remark about Mr. Morrison's statements about being withdrawn from Abadan. I haven't had a chance to see all of Mr. Morrison's statement yet and digest it, but I can assure you the reason we left Abadan was because the Persians kicked us out and nobody did anything about helping us after that. We were given until the 4th of October, and we came out on the 4th. Do you think it was really essential that we should come out, or could we have avoided a different approach? 
Well, I feel that uh, people have waited to see what was going to happen a long time. I feel that the British government has waited to see what would happen. And uh, while they were waiting, the Persians took the initiative and uh, it ended up in our getting these dismissal notices or expulsion notices. And did, did the Persians take our threat of force seriously? I don't know whether, uh, did we threaten force? Well, we did put a, um, a, a parachute brigade into nearby so that they could go into the refinery if necessary to protect the oil workers there. Uh. No, no, I'd, I'd rather not answer that. You'd rather not, okay, well that's, no. that's our problem, sorry. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 So, uh, do you think the Persians can continue running your refinery? No, I, I think the Persians themselves admit that they can't run the oil refinery uh, without foreign help. And uh, I personally feel very strongly that we are the only people who can give them that help. I don't think uh, there are really any other people who would either be acceptable or able to do what we've done in Persia. Well, do you foresee that the British oil men will be going back to Persia shortly? I hope that the British oil men will be going back to Persia shortly. Right, well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.